Kissing bug disease may cause more deaths than previously thought. A new study has found that Chagas disease may have been underreported as a cause of death. The study, conducted by researchers in Brazil, followed subjects for up to 14 years. Those with Chagas were two to three times more likely to die and 17 times more likely to develop cardiac disease. Chagas disease is transmitted by the triatomine bug, which is called the kissing bug because it bites sleeping humans near the eyes and lips. Kissing bugs defecate in or near the broken skin when they feed, transferring the Trypanosoma cruzi parasite into the bloodstream. Chagas causes flu-like symptoms that subside after a few months, but it can reappear years or decades later as heart disease. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimate that there are 300,000 cases of Chagas disease in the U.S. Most of these cases were contracted in other countries. The authors of the study found that Chagas was not reported as a cause of death in 42% of people in the study who died from cardiac disease, suggesting it has been underreported as a cause of death. Chagas has been identified by the CDC as one of five neglected parasitic infections that require public health action. Kissing bugs have been reported in 28 U.S. states, mostly in the South. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more dangerous and gross infections. CDC warns diarrhea-inducing cryptoparasites on the rise in U.S. pools. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says outbreaks of a parasitic infection linked to swimming pools are increasing, and there have been twice as many outbreaks in 2016 as in 2014. Cryptosporidium, commonly known as crypto, is a microscopic parasite that causes the diarrheal disease cryptosporidiosis. Even in properly chlorinated water, it can survive up to 10 days. Swallowing just a mouthful of water with crypto can make healthy people sick for weeks. It can cause stomach cramps, nausea, diarrhea, and and can lead to dehydration. The only way to get rid of the parasite is by treating the water with extremely high levels of chlorine that are dangerous for swimmers. Ohio was one of the states with the most reported cases. A total of 1,940 people fell ill due to the infection in 2016. Those of a nervous disposition, look away now. A British holiday maker is recovering from surgery after she came home from vacation with some unwanted souvenirs. The unnamed 46-year-old woman apparently picked up some nasty insect bites during a visit to the Ivory Coast. After 10 days in pain, she went to the hospital to get the source checked out. And that's when doctors realized she'd been infested with larvae from the parasitic tumbu fly. The female tumbu fly lays its eggs in soil or on damp clothes. Within about two days, the larvae hatch and wait for a chance to penetrate human skin. The larvae burrow into the subcutaneous tissue, usually on the back, buttocks, or backs of the limbs. Once inside, the parasites spend eight to 10 days feeding on the host. It's around about this point that most people notice something is up and seek medical attention, but not everyone. If left untreated, the fully developed larvae will eventually force its way out of the skin and fall to the ground. The larvae will then pupate to become a fly, ready to continue the life cycle of the species. Of course, most people can't stand the pain and will ask for help long before the maggots push out of their skin. <laughs> maggots. <laughs> the best way to avoid a tumbu fly infestation is by ironing clothes, because heat kills the larvae. Smearing oil or Vaseline over the sore starves the maggots of air and usually forces them to the surface. But in the British woman's case, the larvae refused to budge when doctors tried to squeeze them out. So they put her under local anesthetic and took the critters out surgically. The woman was treated with antibiotics and is now fully recovered from her ordeal. No word on where she'll be taking her next vacation, though. Man comes back from Belize with a nasty flesh-eating bug. One man's relaxing vacation turned into a nightmare after he discovered he was being eaten alive by flesh-eating bugs. Mark Ward began noticing tiny bumps on his body while vacationing in Belize with his wife, but thought they were simple bug bites. In reality, Ward had been bitten by a sandfly and infected with a deadly parasite that was now multiplying inside his body. Within days, the bumps had developed into huge lesions, and Ward could feel the flesh-eating parasites ravaging him from the inside. 
He lost weight and was constantly tired, but it wasn't until moving his hand became painful that Ward decided to seek medical help. The couple tried getting treated in Belize, but soon flew back home to Arizona. Doctors were initially baffled as to what was causing the infection, but with the help of a specialist, they soon managed to diagnose and cure him. The parasite that Ward contracted is not often found in the US, though other flesh-eating bugs like a brain-eating amoeba have recently caused panic in the South. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Nasty ass worm takes four years to burrow through man's brain. This is Spirometra erinus europae, a tiny parasitic tapeworm native to Asia that can infect humans, causing a condition known as sparganosis. Disgusting little creature, isn't it? Drink some dirty water, eat a raw frog, or get too close to your cat or dog, and you too could soon be host to one of these little suckers. Once inside you, our friend, let's call him Spiro, will migrate to the tissue or muscle in your chest, abdominal wall, scrotum, or even your eyes or your brain. Which is exactly what happened to an unnamed patient in the UK, who first visited doctors at St Thomas's Hospital in London in 2008, complaining of headaches, seizures, memory loss, and a change in his sense of smell. An MRI scan turned up a strange lesion on his brain, which was even more baffling as it kept moving. After testing the man for numerous diseases, they eventually discovered the real cause of the man's discomfort, our little tapeworm friend, Spiro. Fortunately, once diagnosed, Spiro was quickly killed by a course of drugs and the patient made a full recovery. But don't worry, there have only been 300 cases of the brain touring worm diagnosed worldwide since 1953, and this was the first in the UK. Comforting news now, isn't it?